So a lot of people have been wondering about Donkey Kong in the current update and actually Donkey Kong has been creating a ton of hype lately because of his new Ding Dong combo which essentially is grab into four, uh, into fourth throw which is the character throw into up, jump and upper. Now what this causes is that you bring your opponent so high up in the air and DK's upper is so strong that you can effectively kill somebody at like 40 or 50 percent especially if you have rage and donkey Kong is such a heavy character that he always manages to survive to these crazy percents where he can properly abuse rage so for example let's say someone's at 30 percent or 40 percent and dk is at 130 percent if you get grabbed you die so so yeah the ding dong is pretty powerful technique and it's definitely something that dk can enjoy to get some more wins um dk was also buffed um, other than he's obviously cargo up throw heavily altered <laughs> some of the other things that were progressed for his moveset is that his dash that has less uh, end lag so making it a slightly better move it's still not a, that safe on block but it just means that you can use it a few more times here and there because you won't get punished as hard you know but at the same time it's also not that good of a move it's just what's good about the dash tag is that it comes up pretty fast uh, but it has he has a noticeable ending lag and also his up smash the hitbox size was increased pretty significantly and the thing that makes that move quite better is the fact that you can actually use it out of uh out of your throw you can actually do up throw into up smash at very very low percents for like a 30 percent combo which is pretty amazing and i will say is quite the uh the spectacle to watch is like you see DK do like a 30% thing and it just kind of it kind of puts the fear into your opponent. Basically the big change about DK right now is that he now has a throw which can cheese out people which effectively changes his whole gameplay quite heavily like DK is quite a different character because of it. You can also do um, fourth throw or cargo throw into up throw into up B or neutral into up B. You can do some crazy combos because the throw just has a ton more knockback and it's just so much more noticeable. And the dynamic that affects him, affects him as a character is the fact that now that you have a huge cheese, you can actually beat characters like Sheik or characters like Rosalina or characters that, you know, used to, like, destroy DK. Now you have that random tool or more so that dangerous tool that you can just take the win away from them. And that's very important because DK obviously needed that uh, to be able to compete and hang around with his top three characters. Now... For some, for some advice that I can recommend for those of you trying to enjoy DK is that you want to stick to stages that have low ceilings. Stages that have low ceilings are Town and City, Halver, and Smashville, and Dreamland. And also Dreamland uh, is very good for DK because if you manage to catch somebody while standing on a platform, you'll have even extra added uh, height. So which will mean that you will kill them earlier. Stages like Battlefield, all these stages with platforms that you can kind of camp all the way up and throw them from there is very useful. Other than that, DK is pretty much the same. Um, DK loses to three type of characters. He loses to characters that he can keep up with speed-wise. Like characters like Sheik or characters like Fox. Because they can just kind of get in on DK, get out from DK. And abuse the fact that he can just doesn't have the speed in his moveset and dash speed to hang around with his characters and also characters that combo him too heavily um characters that can also camp him all these type of characters give dk sh uh problems but all this is kind of negated now because now you have a kill throw which can kill them very early which you can now sort of like abuse now which is important like if you play dk now you want to use this throw it's absolutely necessary in the metagame dk before this patch i will say dk was almost irrelevant and it was because there was no point in using DK when essentially you could pick Diddy Kong, which was pretty much better recovery, better moveset, faster moves, and also strong and also a ton of damage. Like, it wasn't really, you didn't really have to pick DK at all. Like, DK didn't fit anywhere in the metagame. Now, DK can actually hang around with the top tiers because now you have a heavy character who can kill really early from grabs, which no other character can do. Now, all the characters heavy can abuse rage and also has a kill throw so it makes a huge difference in the game i will say dk literally went to a top three pick just because of the grab like it's that big of a deal it's that big of a deal to just make him buy a bottle nowhere and essentially now he fits the fits the bill of like uh like a heavy grabber essentially so 
If you fight DK in tournament, I'm gonna recommend you to really camp them out, like super camp them out, because the moment you get grabbed, it's, you're dead. You're, there's, it, your DI doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what direction you hold, you're gonna die. Just hold left or right so you can maximize your survival DI. But other than that, you're kind of screwed. You're kind of just dead, and you have to accept that. Just play to not get grabbed. But here's the thing about DK is that <clears throat> as a character, he he kind of makes people block because his backer forces people or conditions them into shielding pretty often. Your down B punishes people for shielding or approaching in the ground. So a lot of DK's moveset and also his tilts, a lot of his moveset uh, kind of tells people to block or grab in general, which you can just grab in the first place. And also he has all these mix-ups and different tools that he can kind of abuse with. So obviously that works out really well for him. Now, where can DK go in the metagame is really difficult to tell because at some point in time, what if like in the next patch, they just decide to remove his throw and now he doesn't have it anymore. Like he's going to drop down the tier list quick but i'm i don't know maybe they'll leave it maybe they won't it's really hard to tell but right now the big difference is that throw and that's the biggest thing about it just make sure to be careful if you play against it and if you're playing with it make sure you abuse it stand on those platforms and shield you can actually stand on the platform and then if someone hits you from underneath and you're blocking you can grab them and they will grab them from underneath you because dk has a really good grab range so it's a really good tool and it works out pretty well for you if you decide to go that route but as always guys you know, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys around in another occasion.